yourself if you're still waiting for God to do something when God is saying I'm waiting for you show me some faith show me some faith and your faith will require for you to stop crying your faith will require for you to stop your low self-esteem your pity party for you to feel I am nobody I am a, I'm a victim I'm a victim. You're not a victim. It does not matter what people have done to you. You're going forward. You're going forward. It does not matter what your childhood was like. You're going forward. Why are you still crying? Tell the Levites, sit down. Tell the Levites that carry the ark of God. Tell the Levites that carry the ark of God, the presence of God. Tell them to rise and walk into the river Jordan. God is looking at a group of people that will carry the presence of God. Can I talk to you a little about the presence of God? God is looking for somebody even in our generation that will carry the presence of God. And sometimes you you think that the presence of God is complex but the same thing that I've been teaching is the Bible is saying draw near to me and I will draw near the presence of God in an individual's life is the reflection of consistent choice he has made to choose the presence of God mic drop one more time. The presence of God in an individual's life is not God choosing him. It's not God saying, oh, I really like this brother, so I am going to give my presence. No, 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 no. We have put too much onus on God. Are you saying that you were just absolute, you did absolute nothing and you got it? That is how we devalue people's grace the gift of God on his life and you say yes but in order for him to receive that gift there is something that he did when you look at somebody who is receiving the grace of God the disciples received the grace of God from Jesus they received an anointing to be apostles they received an anointing to lead people to deliver people but if you rewind the tape to three years ago, you will see three years ago, they left their father's business. They left their fishing nets. They didn't even wait to sell the boat. They left everything and went after what they believed. They laid their life down. So when you see somebody that has received a gift that you cannot buy, it is true. But are you sure they did absolutely nothing? Are you sure? Are you sure? Just because they received a gift in their life that they could not afford to pay for. But what you don't realize is they paid it with their life. So when you see presence of God in an individual's life, it is not that God chose them. At some point, this individual did things that pursued
pursued the presence of God so that now they can enjoy the presence of God. So don't don't let any man of God's suit fool you. We should not have the celebratory syndrome in the church. Where you look at one man of God and oh he is special with God. Yes, they are special, but you too you can do what he did. And you too can get what he has. So if you see somebody carrying the presence of God, it is just a reflection of his choices. You 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 choose Netflix. He he chose them. You when we meet you, you're the reflection of where you come from. The Bible says when they met Mary, she was found carrying a child from the Holy Spirit. My question is, if I went to meet you today. What will you be found carrying? What you will be found carrying will depend on where you come from. If you ask Mary, where are you coming from? Sister will tell you, I come from being under the shadow of the almighty god you carry what you are coming out of if you're coming out of the furnace of heaven child of god you will smell like fire there is a reason why in the bible any time humans met angels they fell down like dead you think it's because angels are more special than you what if i prove to you from the bible that you are more special than the angels Do you know the Bible says what is man the question that angels are asking is what is man that you are mindful of them What is the meaning of mindful uh, What is mindful That means your mind is full of something that means in God's mind You see you when you woke up in the morning you were thinking coffee but when god if you look into god's mind he's not thinking of angels he's thinking of you his mind is full of you and you think you're not special huh you you think that the man of god in suit is very special you you're less special no God's mind is full of you. God's mind. God's mind. How dare you insult yourself because God's mind is fully thinking. He ah uh, Listen. You know you're on the mind of God than the amount of time your mother thinks about you. Think about that one. because when your mother is sleeping she's not thinking about you no matter how much she loves you she's not thinking of you 24 by 7 currently she's thinking about making tea after she makes tea she'll think about you but right now she's making tea but god's mind it's fully thinking about right now you are on god's mind who hey Right now you are on God's mind. Angels are not special. 
you are. Angels are breaking their mind, wondering, what are these guys? Where this Jesus that we serve, he left the throne and he went and died for these people. What is this Jesus that he's, these people are so special? That, ah, my goodness. The, the Bible says the angels, they desire to look into salvation, but they can't be part of this. Oh my God, my God. No matter how many assignments angels do, they will never be like you. Because you, you are the carbon copy of God. You, you are the image and likeness of God. No matter how hard an angel tries, they can never come close to you. I'm telling you, angels are not special. You are. Oh my goodness. And yet, yet, if you see an angel, you think now you're special that you saw an angel. Angel is like, I'm so glad that finally he saw that I'm standing here. (laughs) I've been standing here all my life serving him. Finally, Bai has opened his eyes. Finally, he's acknowledging me. Angels are like, oh, look at it. His eyes are open to see me now. Yes, you are the one that is special. But the reason why you think they are special is for the wrong reasons. The reason you think they are special is because when they came to see men. Men trembled. Men fell. Daniel said he became like dead. So now you're looking at that and you're thinking, oh my God, how special are these angels? No. That doesn't make them any special. Then what is actually happening is that These angels are now reflecting heaven because they're coming from a place. They're coming from? They're coming from a location. You carry what you're coming from. There is a reason why Enoch distant himself from his fellow beings and withdrew himself and consecrated himself to walk with God because Enoch understands if I meet with someone for coffee you drink your coffee and when you return from that individual you are carrying something from that individual So if you ask Mary, she will say, if you meet me, I am carrying something from the place I am coming from. So I am asking you the question, where are you coming from? So I know what you are carrying is not worth much by the way you don't protect it. By the way you call your friends and gossip for one hour. Huh? You know what she did? You know what he did? You know who is seeing whom? Who is sleeping with whom? You know the gossip of the entire city. And when you come, angels can look at you and say, you are carrying things. You are pregnant with things. And you are pregnant with things that is not respected in heaven. And you're pregnant with things that causes demons to not fear you. Some of you, 
you are becoming pregnant with coals of fire I am taking away the shock and surprise that you have and I am trying to make it natural for you. It will become part of your life to carry the presence of God. Oh Shaya. Oh Shaya. Oh Shada da 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 ba 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 ba. It's happening. It's happening all over this place. Take it. Ah, ha, ha. It's the Lord that is touching you. I see angels brushing with people. Whoa. I, I, I see angels brushing with people. You, you, what you're feeling is not you making up, it's not your mind. Angels are brushing with people right now. Realms are opening up to you right now. Take it! I see the invisible encountering people all over this building. The Lord says, I want to walk with you. Some of you, you're, you're wondering, why am I feeling like crying? It's because the Lord is inviting you to the inner chambers. This message is for you. Whoa. A generation shall look at you. And they shall say that you were carrying something from the Holy Spirit. Child of God, by the same grace that sent me to you, I uproot from you everything that adulterated your spirit. I uproot from you every bitterness. I uproot from you every unforgiveness. I uproot from you everything of your past that has been hindering your walk with God. I uproot from you every pain. I uproot from you every lie of the enemy. I uproot from you anything that detached you from God. In the name of Jesus, begin to ascend. Your spirit is flying up. Who is the gift giver? Who is the gift giver? Who, uh, don't doubt, I'm asking you a question. Who is the gift giver? All right. Who lives inside of you? So where is the gifts? <laughs> Everything that you desire is inside of you. You just need to now learn to let it flow. The way you can let it flow is by changing your mindset. Discovering who you are. Child of God, when Jesus said, nothing is impossible to him who believes, he meant it. Because it's already inside of you. You can simply walk on the water. You can simply come out and step into the Jordan. It doesn't matter if it is the Red Sea, you're going to walk out in the name of Jesus. So are you ready to activate it? everything shut inside of me I command it to come out one more time everything shut inside of me it shall not be hidden anymore this year it shall come out your wait is over 
I'm hearing the Lord say your wait is over. You're breaking the yoke of the enemy. Your wait is over. You're rising up as a deliverer in your generation. Your wait is over. You will be the deliverer of your family. Let your light begin to shine brightly. You shall do what no eyes have seen. What no ears have heard. What no hearts have perceived. You shall begin to do from today. Somebody clap your hands and receive that right now. It is going to start by you being a deliverer of your own house. You cannot be a deliverer to somebody else and you've not delivered your own house. Ah, it can't be. So I declare that you are becoming the deliverer to your own house. Yes, 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 yes. Before you can help anybody else, I send you with an assignment from the Lord. I'm sending you with an assignment to break the spirit of poverty in your house. The spirit of limitation in your house. You shall go back this week and you shall break the back of the enemy in the name of Jesus. La Rosa, man, agree with me, agree with me, agree with me. I wish your amens were louder. In the name of Jesus, that spirit of limitation will not be in your house anymore. Let the lion of Judah roar. Oh, receive the golden oil. I'm, I'm sensing a multi anointing. A kingship anointing. The Lord is releasing a golden oil. Somebody is being crowned as a king right now. In the name of Jesus, let your light shine brightly. Discouragement will not stand a chance anymore. Your trauma will not have a chance anymore. Spirit of limitation shall not have a chance anymore. You're coming out in the name of Jesus. Prophetically, open your mouth and say, Hey Jordan, here I come. Oh, shout it again. Hey Jordan, here I come. Now clap your hands and celebrate your victory. Celebrate! Somebody shout hallelujah! Distance is not a barrier to God. RevivedNations.tv is now open to live participation to our services. 